morning, everybody. It's not morning, but it is for me right now. I'm on my way to work. And uh, yeah, so a couple things going on. First of all, my wife got me this, because uh, she's amazing. Basically, you've got the new 52 Batman comics, right? And I had bought the first two a while back, which I told you guys about, I believe. Uh, they're the, the Court of Owls and the City of Owls. Uh, I bought the third one a couple weeks ago, The Death of the Family, which, ooh, that's some stuff right there. If you know anything about Batman, or have any interest in Batman, you need to start reading these comics, because uh, they're amazing, they're incredible, they're ridiculous, uh, crazy, good. Um, and then my wife, just like randomly, uh, for her birthday, she's decided that she is buying her friends presents for her birthday. Because my wife's not awesome enough, she has to do that and just completely take it over the edge. So she got me this. And she literally walked into Barnes and Nobles, had no idea what she was looking for, and just randomly picked a comic and it was the one that I wanted. It's the next one after Death of the Family. Crazy. This is volume four, Zero Year Secret City. So it kind of jumps back and tells you an origin story about Batman. Uh, and it's very good. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Very interesting. Talks about the Red Hood gang. And uh, for those of you who know anything about Man Batman, you know, <laughs> Man Man, anybody know about Batman? <laughs> for anybody that knows about Batman, the Red Hood gang is a very interesting topic. Um, at least in my opinion, I think so. Uh, because it has to do with my favorite supervillain of all time. And I'm not gonna say anything more. Those of you that read comics books are like, yeah, we know. Yeah, got it. Those of you who don't are like, Josh, you're a dork. So, and I accept both answers. Thank you. The main thing I want to talk about here is we had a little mishap in our house. I'm not going to lie and tell you that it was just a small deal and it was like no big deal. Because it kind of was, it was a big deal and I wasn't very happy about it. So like a couple weeks ago, we were walking into our bedroom and realized that the floor was wet. Like, oh, Judah probably spilled something, he usually does. So we get like a towel. And then, like, later that day, I walk, it's wet again. I'm like, why is it still wet? Did we not clean it up well enough? So we dab it up again. Later the next day, <clears throat> walk over it again, and it's wet again. And Kate was like, I think something is leaking. And I'm like, oh, great, fantastic. So we call the, uh, the guys, the dudes, the maintenance people, and say, hey, uh, we think there's a leak. So they come in and they like rip up our carpet and all this stuff and apparently like our hot water heater was leaking or something was leaking and uh, so they like ripped up our carpet, put fans in our house and all this stuff and it was like that for like four or five days. They're like, hey, you know, just keep an eye on it. If it happens again, you know, you want to make sure you're on it because it could cause mold. See where this is going? So we went to California a few weeks ago and ever since we've been back, Kate has been sick nonstop. Like she just, she can't get well. And I'm sorry I took the freeway. I try not to take the freeway when I'm recording because it's loud, but vlog failed. Okay, so she's been sick ever since we got back. Like she'll be sick, then she'll get better, and then she'll be sick again. And I'm like, what's going on? And I was like, I wonder if there's a, like some kind of mold in the house or something. Is this guy gonna let me over? Can I get over? Can I get, can I get? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, in the south, you got away, but otherwise they shoot you. Because everybody carries guns. She called down to the office and said, hey, I think there's a, a mold. I think there's mold in our house. And they came up, and sure enough, there was mold. And they came up, and they ripped up the carpet, ripped up the tile, put more fans in our house. That's pretty much all they did. And Kate was still getting sick. And so she called down to the office, not once, not twice, but three times. And now, I'm just gonna tell you, there is a lady that works in our apartment complex. I'm not a fan. She does not listen to us. She does not. And like every time you talk to her, it's a complete inconvenience. Like you are the last person on the face of the earth that she wants to be conversing with. So Kate called and got her twice and told her, listen, I can't breathe. 
my, like you could hear it in her voice. She sounded like she was dying. I can't breathe. Me and my son stay home all day. There is a mold infestation in our house. I need something to be done. Like either we need to be put in a hotel or you guys need to come in and like seriously take care of it. Do an air test, make sure that I'm not dying. Like what, what, are, what do you need to do? Like do something. Like right now there's just fans on in my house and I'm sitting here not able to breathe and I don't know what to do. And the lady was like, okay, we'll send somebody up. Nobody comes up. She calls again, same thing. Okay, we'll send it. Nobody comes up. She calls a third time and gets a different lady. And the lady was like, are you, you seriously? Like, you sound awful. And Kate's like, yes, I sound awful. I'm terrible. I can't breathe in my own house. I can't breathe in my own house. And the lady's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And within like, I don't know, very soon, they had people up there like assessing the situation. We, they gave us uh, the, uh, what do you call it? I always forget the word. The model apartment, the one that they show people when they come in. So they, they gave us that one to live in until this is done. And so we had to kind of move stuff over and it's just been, it's like camping in a really nice apartment uh, that's completely furnished with 1999 style decorations. Literally, I'm not even, that's not an exaggeration. There's a, a catalog in the bathroom that says 1999 design awards on it. And so it's all frills and pastels and, and kind of like peach leather. It's, yeah. I mean, it's nice. It's nice stuff, but uh, a little outdated. Um, so we lost our cable, so I'm a little behind on, uh, a little behind on Walking Dead, which is okay. I got a DVR, I don't watch it. A little behind on Gotham, that's my own fault. And, uh, yeah, we have internet, so that's good. So I'm still able to like do my Minecraft and, and, and do my videos and all that stuff. Um, and we might have a really fancy apartment to hold a kid's birthday party in, so that'll be nice. <laughs> uh, there's the positives. Uh, so they're still working on it as of right now. Uh, by the time this, this goes live, it, it might be taken care of, I don't know, but uh, we'll see what happens. So if you have mold in your house, don't put up with any crap. You get them to put you in a new place, and you have them take care of you and, and whatever needs to happen. Yeah, that's a serious thing. It's a very serious thing. And to all you people who manage apartments out there and think that your tenants are inconveniences, shame on you. Shame on you. That's all. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully this uh, episode cheered you up a bit and made you happy and helped you have a nice day. All right. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you on the next Voltron in Nashville. Voltron out. I'm gonna go by Voltron, because I think that's an awesome name. <laughs> Give it up, buddy. There we go. Bro, that dude was on my oh face. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ow, what the dude? What the <laughs> Come on! Are you for real? The reason I have a spirit animal is because I was never allowed to have pets. It's contest time. If your name is Ben Miller and you're a subscriber to my channel, I just do your name and you just won a prize.